Hi, my sweet friends. My name is Deja. Now, welcome to my YouTube channel. I am super glad that you are here. So I got all dressed up, you know, got a little um, gold there, a little headband. And then I opened my window, like, which I always do to get, you know, that natural light, that natural light to hit the, the melanin. And the sun said, no, ma'am, the sun is behind the clouds. They are not given what it is supposed to give. So I got this harsh light in the front of me. So I'm sorry if you're like, what is this quality? Who is this girl? This is not the normal setup, okay? I'm working. I'm a work in progress. God is working things out. But like I said, super glad you're here. Hopefully, stick with me. Today, we are talking about all things Hannah. This is part three. I think this is the final series. Um, section of the series i may do this again very very soon because i just love this or i may continue it who knows what will happen but right now this is the last lady i think i want to do at this moment but i'll keep you all posted but let's get into all things hannah see you in there sweet friends all right so we know the story hannah right you know hannah she wanted a son she was barren she prayed to the Lord. So let's get into this. So number one, what I want to say is, what I learned from Hannah is go to God even when you are ridiculed. Okay? Because the thing is, it said it said in the Bible that every time she thought like she was going to the te temple, she would be taunted by her rival. Did that stop her from praying? No. Did people were like, why does woman keep praying? You know, she obviously ain't nothing happened to you. Did she stop? No. She kept going be persistent in prayer when you go but take it to god even when the world says mm, you pray you've been praying for that for like two weeks now and ain't nothing happening you've been praying that for 10 years now and ain't nothing happening. you've been praying that for 50 years now and ain't nothing happening you keep going because you know of the god you serve if he did it for hannah he can do it for you she did not return evil for evil hannah obviously when she was attacked by um her rival i can't pronounce her name so i won't even try but when she was attacked by the by her husband's other wife she could have easily easily said because the husband loved her more it was clear she could easily say you know what take her out take her out divorce her throw her out there we can keep our children and everything but she was too much she could have easily said that she could have gone talk behind her back she could have talked to her husband she could have done so many things but you know what hannah did hannah took it to god hannah prayed about it is what we as women should do when you feel attacked when you feel overwhelmed when anything you're going through when you feel ridiculed just take it to god because god can answer and god will answer it way better than you can okay way better way better so let's just shut that down but she took it to god number two number two number two she prayed i mean she really prayed like to the fact that eli thought she was drunk like honestly y'all like i want to be like the thing is i want to be able to pray like this i ain't glad like the fact that you pray so hard, like you pray so hard, people think you are drunk? Man, you know, that woman was carrying on bad. Like they said, like there was no words coming out of her mouth, but her mouth were moving. They were moving. And she knew that God could hear her. So pray, pray, pray. Talk to God, pray about it. Um, don't be afraid to tell others what you are praying for so they can agree like you know i don't think she told him exactly what she was praying for but she said she was like oh yeah i'm not drunk i'm praying and of course you know eli then was able to agree with her and he was like you know um let, let me find exactly what he said it's right here oh it's right here oh don't don't oh oh stop oh i can't find it oh okay yeah yeah yeah, yeah. he said Go in peace and may the God of Israel give you what you have asked of him. So don't be ashamed when you're praying for something. You don't have to tell everyone your business. I say go in there and be like, oh yeah, I'm praying for this and this and this. No, but you can tell people like, yes, I have been praying to God because I am asking him for the certain thing and blah, blah, blah. And you know what? They might be sitting there and be like, you know what? Um, Sally, I agree with you. Whatever it is, I really hope God gives it. And they might be able to take that to prayer. Like the thing is with, when, we, when we're speaking to God, God knows. And the thing is, I may not need to know exactly what you are going through and who you are, what you are walking through for me to pray for you. Just be like, okay, I need to pray because I need guidance. And I need to know what you need guidance in, but I'm praying for you. And I'm praying that because God knows. God knows what you need guidance in. You know what you need guidance in. All of y'all know. The people who need to know, know. But I'm able to agree with you. Does that make sense? Hopefully it does. Um, prayer bring, oh, no, sorry. God hears and remembers you. I want you to know that, like I said, who knows how long you may have to pray. And the thing is, you need to remember that God is not on your schedule. I have a problem with this. You probably have a problem with this. I think we all have a problem with this because we are impatient humans. But all you might be a patient one. I don't know. But the thing is, God ain't on our schedule. He knows wh what your end looks like. So the thing is, just know that God has and remembers you. 
and your your prayer either you will get a yes or you will get a no or you will get a wait but it's not your issue to kick up and be like oh i'm gonna stop praying about this because god ain't answering my prayer no you keep praying about it and no i always say um delight yourself in what he will grant you the desires of your heart once you keep praying about it i think either god will tell you yes no and your desires may change for something else and you'll be like you know what i actually did not want that so thank you lord because i that always happens it always happens like when, it, when you don't get what you want you realize it's not actually what you wanted that your vision was blurred you know what i mean so keep praying because god cares and remembers you and he knows you too better than you know yourself prayer brings release i know i know sometimes we want to vent because i don't know okay think about this think about this now think about this think about it think, 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 think with me stick with me when you are upset or something, right? What do you like? Most of us, what are the friends we want to vent? We want to vent. We want to get it out. We want to call out our friend and be like, "You would never believe. You would never believe. You would never believe what this man did to me. You would never believe what she said to me. You would never believe what my boss did. I can't believe." And you vent, right? So, pastor's like, instead of picking up the phone, why don't you go in your car, sit down, be like, "God, God, I can't. God, I can't. I can't do this no more, baby." And you vent to him. Number one. He can actually do something about it because your friend, I'm sorry, but she most likely can just listen. Your boyfriend can most likely just listen. God can do something about it. He ain't gonna spread your business. He won't judge you. He will lead you in the right direction. But no, hopefully he will take that burden off of you. And you won't longer be her face. Like it says, her face was no longer downcast. You will be able to walk out that victorious. I love to see that picture like when the lion, like the cub, little go to pray and then they come out like a lion. Like the thing is, in that moment, you don't understand what you just did, but you have set the atmosphere around you on fire by taking that to God. So the next time you want to just vent and get it off your chest, don't pick up the phone. Don't go here. Or don't go there to the man. Or don't go there to your mother. Sit for us. I don't want you to sit for a second, even though it's two minutes. I just say, God, and just let him have it and then see what happens. Just see what happens. Make that a habit. Okay? Because like I like and to, I'm 24 now. See the last time the last video y'all saw I was 23. Then this video, I'm a 24-year-old woman. I am setting the atmosphere. Listen, we are shifting things, okay? We are taking everything to God in year 24. And that's what we're doing. So I then to God, pray to God, release it to God, let him carry your burdens because these the human beings have their own things going on. They will listen to you for that five minutes and then they'll be like, okay, 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 uh, yeah, I hope it works out. Never think what you get. <laughs> Hopefully they do, but you get the idea. Keep your vow and follow through. Um, and that I feel is that goes for you when you are the thing the promises you make on earth and the promises you make to God. But you remember how now after she got what she wanted, she didn't say Oh God, give me this child. Oh, you gave him to me. I know I said I would dedicate him to you, but I really like him. I really want to keep the. Can I keep him? And you, he didn't say that. He followed through. Hannah kept her promise, and many were blessed because of it. She you know what she did. She took him back to Eli and dedicated him like she said she would. That's a good. That's a. That's a good woman. But the thing is. Because she did that, Eli was blessed with a spiritual son. Because remember now, Eli had two sons and they were no good. So now Eli was able to raise a son and get that blessing. And his heart was, you know, oh, who knows what that did to him. I can only imagine. Hannah was blessed with more kids. So she didn't hold this one and be like, no. You know, she God gave her more because guess what? He is the God and he can give more. He, he has all the resources and more that he needs. Like he, he does not need your help. I always say that he's, he's not need our help. So he does not need you to hold on to this one because he's limited on babies or limited on money or limited on, on jobs. Station has limited on jobs. He ain't limited on jobs. He needs you to keep this one, hold it tight. Just give. Um, and Samuel was able to walk in his calling. If he had, if she had hold on to Hannah, Samuel may have not been able to walk in his calling. So you never know. So just do what you know you need to do. And don't worry about, oh, I don't have this or oh, I need to keep this or oh, I need, you know what I mean? You know, that last five dollars, if God tell you, go and bless that homeless man, you say, God, I only got the last five dollars and I got to eat lunch. <laughs> Trust me. Trust me. <laughs> Trust me. Give that last five dollars to the homeless man because God, should you give that last five dollars, somebody walk right and call you up right now. So see the rest of that night, I'm going to call you, hey, I got this one hundred dollars for you. 
I got some hundred dollars for you because um I don't even know, but I got this hundred. But if you hold on to that five dollars, you go hungry the tomorrow. I just took him. But you know what I mean? Like if something is on your heart, just do it. Just walk in obedience always. Hannah prays, and I know this might be long, but I kind of want to read it. So bear with me. My heart rejoices in the Lord. The Lord has made me strong. Now I have an answer for my enemies. I rejoice because you rescued me. No one is holy like the Lord. There is no one besides you. There is no rock like our God. Stop acting so proud and haughty. Don't speak with such arrogance. For the Lord is a God who knows what you have done. He will judge your actions. The bow of the mighty is now broken, and those who stumbled are now strong. Those who were well fed are now starving, and those who were starving are now full. The childless woman now has seven children. Come on, somebody, and the woman with many children waste away. The Lord gives both death and life. He brings some down to the grave, but raises others up. The Lord makes some poor and others rich. He brings some down and lifts others up. He will lift the poor from the dust and the needy from the garbage dump. He sets them among princes, places them in seats of honor, for all the earth is the Lord's and he has set the world in order. He will protect his faithful ones, but the wicked will disappear in darkness. No one will succeed by strength alone. I'm going to repeat that. No one will succeed by strength alone. Those who fight against the Lord will be shattered. He thunders against them from heaven. The Lord judges throughout the earth. He gives power to his king. He increases the strength of his anointed one. The word of the Lord has already been blessed. But what I got from that is, Hannah, remember to praise. And this, I feel like if you are ever in a season of waiting, or if you're ever in a season and you don't know what's coming next, or you are just there and you're like downcast, I don't, you should read this because your heart will one day rejoice in the Lord. I, I, I believe that with you today. Um, I don't know what you're waiting on. I don't know what you're going through. I don't know how much enemies you have, but you will one day have an answer for your enemies. I believe that with you today. Um, there's no need to act proud or haughty or speak in arrogance because when you take your burdens, you take them to God and he He will fulfill, he will, um, fulfill your needs. But at the end of the day, like she said, the childless, because this is her testimony. Her testimony is the childless woman now have seven. She went from zero to seven. And we know that seven, seven is a, a number in the Bible. So we know that that has meaning, like a meaning of significance. But one day you will have an answer for your, your enemies. And one day you will, your heart will rejoice for sure. You don't need to stand on your own strength. So today, I know you may feel like, oh, I got to take all of this on my strong shoulders. Look at that. Strong shoulders. I lie. But you don't need to. You don't need to do that. You will be blessed. God's got you. God will remember you. Don't be afraid. Pray, pray, pray. Take your burdens to God. And I know you will feel that release. Happy Sunday. Thanks for listening. So glad you're here. All things Hannah.